homosexuals on the run from discrimination and worse in Chechnya. Under a super secret program, almost three dozen refugees, mostly gay men, are now in Canada and giving disturbing details of the abuse back home. CTV's Mercedes Stevenson has been following the emotional exodus. Mercedes? Sandy, tonight we can reveal that 31 refugees have been brought to Canada from Chechnya, part of the clandestine government program that remained a secret until today. In Russia, discrimination and attacks against LGBTQ people are not uncommon. And as bad as the violence there is, it's even worse in Chechnya. The government ordered purge with security forces rounding up gay men, beating and torturing them. Even if they survive, families are encouraged to carry out so-called honor killings, murdering their gay family members. The Canadian government was aware of the abuse and in April hatched the plan to start bringing refugees to Canada. Working together with Rainbow Railroad, a charity that helps LGBTQ people facing persecution around the world. Government sources say the vetting process is similar to the Syrian refugee program. All 31 Chechens underwent health screening, background checks and will receive one year of government funding after which they will be able to apply for citizenship. For security reasons, the government won't say much about the underground railroad used to smuggle refugees out of Chechnya. But Sandy, the organization that helped rescue these people, says they hope Canada will continue to be a sanctuary for more gay refugees. All right, thank you, Mercedes.